Good afternoon everybody, Colleen here from Get Art Creations. Thanks for stopping by. I thought I'd pop on quickly. Um, I've been out all morning. I just returned. So, um, But I wanted to show you a little where I'm at with these two uh, trashy projects. And I also wanted to make, uh, make uh, an, an announcement as far as... Well, last video I mentioned I met a gal, a, a Canadian gal who's also a junk journaler who inspired me to get out my trash again and I didn't tell you who she was so her name is Caroline on the hillside I strongly encourage you to run on over to her channel I will make sure I link it down below but she is amazing she is a very calm soothing uh trashy journaler I love you Caroline you know what I mean that's a compliment um so I just decided to take out some of the trash, like all these scraps and the mailers that come. And I'm, I just want to give you a little update here as to where I'm at with these two journals. This isn't on here. I don't know if I'm going to put this on the top or not. I haven't decided. Anyway, so I want to give you a little glimpse as to where I'm at with this. So this was, or I showed you in the last video, I believe I did, that I took a yes I did this is which cereal is it yeah it's the frosted flakes tigger the frosted flakes um uh logo and I've sh I had shown you that I put together a couple signatures well I've sewn them in I'm sticking to the I'm really sticking to the trashy side of things it's a challenge I'm finding I didn't realize how um I'm more inclined to to uh, cover everything, which I still might, but at least I am using up mostly, it's 98% trash. So I'll just quickly go through the, the signature pages. This one is a printable, but I think it might be the only one. It just happened to be laying on my desk, so I threw it together with, with this signature. Uh, these are just inserts from the, you know, different things you get in the mail. This is a probably my husband's tax thing, an envelope he didn't need, an old map. This is a Weight Watchers thingy flyer. So that's become a page. I added this uh, dollar store wrapping paper, probably to strengthen the spine there. Uh, uh, provincial camping ground spot, an envelope compassion envelope it's a magazine inserts this is a campsite that um, we'd like to try actually in, in bc so I, that came in the mail so in it went <clears throat> so again i've added some <clears throat> portions to some of these pages here this is a flip down this is uh, a part of the bedding sheets that i purchased I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. This is a tailor-made journal um, printable envelope. It was again, it was sitting in my in my uh, arm's length, so I grabbed it. So yeah, it's not trashy, but it is. Yeah, it was okay. It's it's okay to add the odd little non-trashy item if you will, but most of it's trash. This is a flip out part of the caribou camping site and in. in uh, BC. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but I at least got them sewn in. Signature one, this is the back of, I realized the front of this um, had to be at the back of the signature. So Weight Watchers, more paper, envelope inserts, envelopes. So just take your stuff, take your papers. And actually, I had to put this in. This is my husband's business. I thought, honey, you're on a flyer. So I put it into the journal. Just various types of paper. This is from an old, an old uh, garden book. Envelope. Little window there. This came in the mail. It's a thicker cardstock flyer of some sort. 
Sick Kids Hospital. Oh, sweetheart. And this is an Edith Holden insert. I uh, only had a little piece of the binding tie so on the one end, so I just took a little paper punch. This little heart paper punch. And then I took the piece I punched it out of and I just stuck it there. Because I thought that was kind of cute. Okay, so that's that's that. I'm kind of wanted to show you what I've done. So all I've done is I've taken all these off cuts, various different book pages and whatnot, and uh, just some junk. This came in the mail yesterday, so I will use that somehow. And then I just started tearing and gluing. This is the cover. I don't know where it's going yet. I really don't. You can see both signatures on the spine of this cereal box. And then I Mod Podged it. So there are no um, pieces that stick up or, or anything like that. I don't know what I'm going to put on the front. If I'm going to put anything, I'm going to do something. I just don't know yet, you guys. What do you think? I could either look at these faces. Oh, my goodness. Somehow may, maybe make a, a layered, some sort of a layered journal cover element for the front, either using these little sweet faces or I could do this paper bag, do some layering this way. This is how I play, I don't know. I, I kind of arrange it and then I think, hmm, I don't know, and then I open it up and there's a little sweet girl inside. So I don't know if I'm going to maybe build this up for the front, kind of, you know, trashy. We'll see. I don't have to know that just yet, but I just wanted to share with you. Just take your papers, guys, tear them up, ink them up. I would advise you to ink before you Mod Podge. I didn't do that. I inked after and it was okay, but, but I used Mod Podge to stick it down too. So I couldn't exactly ink before I did that. But I like the effect. And then I did the inside of the cover. Again, I tore up pages. I didn't mod podge, mod podge. But I um, glued it all down, gave it some ink. So again, it's just that torn paper look. And then here's a piece of a file folder. And I just glued the three edges. And it's like a paper tuck or a tag tuck or something. So that's been fun kind of out of my comfort zone. So thanks, Caroline, for the inspiration. And then there is this Catelli lasagna box I've been plugging away at whenever I've had an extra couple minutes. So I also, again, I did some book page tearing up. I made a cluster, added this torn up off cut, and then I added from the, there's a little bit of file folder under here, and then I took uh, I cut it down as far as height and then I took that piece sort of made the edges jagged and I took my uh, this is a stamp it's a key stamp I found it at the thrift store and then um, added some cheesecloth and I think I, I think I showed you guys the I'm not sure but I think I showed you this three signatures and then I open it up and here's the inside. I added a little bit of lace. And then I think I originally showed you that I had only two signatures. Well, it turns out I added three. So because the spine is, it's a chunky spine, so I have some room. So there's one. So here's the one out of my thrifted um, Creative Hands book. And this is the second signature. And this is the third. So I'm just plugging away on them. I did a couple of uh, page spreads. These were inspired by Gail Agostinelli. I think she was inspired by <clears throat> Natasha from Treasure Book. Um, <clears throat> these are just sort of, uh, this one's not quite like they did it, and that's fine. But this, they're called um, page tab extenders or something like that, where you extend the edge of the um, page and they just they stick out just for some, I guess just uh, just for some fun. So I made these, and they're of course journaling spots as well. 
and I added some, uh, this is yarn and some scissors in keeping with the theme of the journal or the signature covers. And this one is an, a sewing machine. And this one is, I love sewing. So yeah, oh yeah, and this is the back. Uh, when I was showing the original box, when I tore it down and I had the flap extension, I had mentioned I was going to flip it behind the box, which I did. And this is what I got out of it. So once I covered it and I flipped it back and I glued the sides, then I decorated it a little bit with some old music paper. And then I made a card, a, a journal card. And this is one of the inserts of the book, the embroidery book. And it's like a journaling card and it tucks right back in here. So how fun is that? So that's that. That's where I'm at with my little tinkering around. This is a bundle of scraps I'm using and these beautiful images I want to show you. First of all, these, these I found, I think, at the dollar store. But there were tags I've had in my stash with some embroidery re uh, edging at the bottom. How cute. So these definitely have to go in. And out of my new book I bought at the thrift store, I cut out some images. So this is going to be a tag. Isn't that beautiful? Needlepoint. Just beautiful. And these were some of the tall tags that I cut out. So I'll, I'll decorate them yet. And these are some of the pieces out of that book I took out, cut out. Now I might, I'll probably cut these down and make three pockets out of these. But I really wanted to stick to using the inserts of the book. I know that most of you wouldn't have touched that book, but that's what I do. I buy my books so I tear them apart and I, I give them new life. Beautiful. Aren't these gorgeous? So vibrant and beautiful. There's so many images left in the book yet. Oh, I'm just getting going. So that is where I am at. And I'm also working on my gentleman's journal. So I just thought I'd share with you guys where I'm at with this, the progress I've made. And to remind you to get out your junk and just start creating. I do want to share with you one quick little thing that I've recently purchased two, um, two crafting tools, if you will, that I strongly, strongly recommend. And I'm gonna take this off because that's one of them. So this arrived yesterday and it's an Olfa. I'm gonna show you what, what was around this. Um, and I was inspired to buy this because I was watching a video of wishes and weeds i've just found her as well and she's amazing i will link her channel as well wishes and weeds is her channel uh, i saw her using this grid some sort of a grid ruler and i really really liked it so we chatted a little bit and i got i got the idea from her so i went on to amazon and i purchased it so it's about five and a half inches six inches wide and it's uh, 12 inches long so it just will I don't have a, a mat as you can see underneath that it, it you, so some of you have your ruler mats I don't have one so I thought I need something that it's going to show me some straight lines and stuff so I'm excited about this and it has a hole here so you can hang it on your trolleys or wherever you have your workstations and also this I have I can't believe I worked this long without one. These are um, silicone brushes. So when you're gluing and you want to spread it out and they wash, I have my baby wipes beside me and when I'm done using it, I give it a wipe and it's good to go. Um, I'm not a fan of the paint brushes because you really have to wash them and make sure they stay somewhat uh, pliable. But yeah, this is wonderful. It comes in a pack of two, the one I got anyway. And I've used it quite a bit. Like when I did, so for this cover, all I did is I took my Mod Podge and I, you know, swooshed a spot, put on a piece of paper, swooshed the paper, added more, swooshed, add more. And this thing was just amazing. So I don't know, maybe I'm just being funny, but it's a silicone brush. Highly recommend it. So those are my two must-haves 
to share with you guys. If you already don't have them, you should get them. Probably most of you have them. But with that, guys, that's it. That's all I got today. Have a wonderful afternoon. I'll be back. And um, I'm sure with some more stuff, some, prog some progress into my journals and stuff. And I hope you have a wonderful day, everybody. Stay crafty. Bye.